Hey guys, welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far today. Let's get into our email. Let's see what we have in here. I think we had some that were due tomorrow. Here's one. It says, I hear you work with computers. I'm pretty sure I managed to break something. I thought the motherboard was dirty, so I cleaned it with the Hoover. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I personally have cleaned my home server with a vacuum and it didn't break anything, but I would not recommend it. Use, use air, use just, just blow the dust out. Don't vacuum it. It, it supposedly causes uh, static electricity, which, you know, that's not so great. It's not so great. It probably won't kill it, but just don't do it. Anyway, <laughs> did my motherboard break? Can you get it done before tomorrow? Is it okay? It's so dusty. I heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. Regards, Pat Gross. Oh, Pat. Pat, Pat, destroying, destroying your computer. Pat's got a budget of 400 bucks for us to replace the motherboard and CPU cooler. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can do that. Let's look at his stats real quick. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and accept that one. I know there was another one due tomorrow. Here it is. It says, Hiya, I need a new PC. I'm a bit obsessed with performance. Does 7,320 sound reasonable for a benchmark score? I really want the CPU to overclock to 4,500 megahertz. Is tomorrow a reasonable deadline? In-win components are meant to be the bomb. I know used parts can be cheaper, but I would like new ones, please. All the best, Jane. So Jane's got a budget of 4,500 bucks to get a 3D Mark score of 7,320 and a CPU that at least clocks up to 4.5 gigahertz. And she's, she, you know, she's not being pushy. She just wants it done by tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I know we can get that done. Let's go ahead and accept that one. All right, I'm going to open up the shop. I'm going to step away. I'm going to get some parts put in the cart for the fix and the build. And I will be right back. All right, the motherboard here and CPU cooler are for the repair. For the build, we're going to go with an MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi, an i7-10700K, an NZXT Kraken Z73 AIO water cooler, four sticks of Corsair Vengeance RAM, it's 8 gig, 3200 megahertz, an MSI RTX 3080, 850 watt power supply, three one terabyte white team group T Force SSDs. We're also going to put in a Patriot Viper, one terabyte M.2 drive. We're going to add four EK fans. We're going to put all that in the Inwin 303 MSI Dragon Edition. All right. Let's make sure we've got all that for next day delivery. Let's buy it now. Make sure we accepted both of these. We did. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go in the day so we can get everything in and get to work. Go to work. Grab our parts. What is this? What... What is this stuff? What is this? Oh, it must be from PC Bay. <laughs> Here's our fix. Let's get that put over here. It's a little dusty. It's a little dusty. They said it was real dusty. I guess I was expecting worse. And we'll get our case for our build over here. And I want to grab the sticky note and get it put on the workbench. All right, let's take a look. And this dusty beast. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's definitely dusty. <laughs> Let's get this. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll give it to him. It's dusty. It's dusty. I'm going to get some compressed air, and this thing feels like it almost needs a broom. I can understand why they tried to use a vacuum cleaner. Because this compressed air doesn't seem to... There we go. I was going to say, the compressed air doesn't seem to want to get it clean. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Oh man, okay. Okay, I think... I think that's about as clean as it's gonna get. I think that's about it. Let me get everything disconnected from this motherboard because the motherboard needs to be replaced. Hopefully it's exactly what they said it was and it's just the cooler and the motherboard. But I guess as we get further into this... Oops, that needs to be unplugged. As we get further into this, we will find out if there's anything else. What? Oh, it's got an M.2 drive on the back there. All right. Let me get this motherboard out. But let's take a look and see if it's actually broken. Fits this PC. That'll make things a little bit better. And it is. It is broken. Oh, look, I have one of those in stock. It just happens to be used. All right, well, let's sell that broken one off. Let's grab the new one and get it installed. I'm going to get this ready for their RAM and their CPU. Hopefully their CPU is not broken. It is not. We are good to go on that. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. <laughs> it didn't want to let me select the little lock arm. Oh, my. Oh, my. All right. Their RAM is good. Perfect. Let me get some thermal paste on this CPU, and then let's make sure their cooler is actually broken that they had. It is. It's toast. It's not even worth anything. It's That is how broken this cooler is. It is garbage. So I'm going to get rid of it, and I'm going to put the new one on here. There we go. Then they had an M.2 drive. Let's get that. Let's see. I think that was installed. Yeah, it's on the back side. I don't even know how we would actually get to that. It's a, it's on the back side of the motherboard. And then they had a graphics card. 1060. Okay, that's good. Nice. That's nice. All right. Let's get the PCI lock on here. And then I believe they had black cables. So... I don't think they had anything about changing the cable color. I think it was this... No, was it this? The sleeved? I think it was this sleeved. Uh, let me make sure, though. Let me, let me double check. Let's see. Where were we? Fix this. Fix this. I don't see anything about changing the cable color. Hopefully these colors are right. If not, then uh, yeah, I guess they'll just be unhappy. <laughs> All right. Let me see if this thing will power on before we get everything put back together. I want to hop into their BIOS real quick, see if they need XMP turned on. They do not. Is that really what we're booting from? Let's see. Let's see if that's what their OS is installed on, their hard drive. Okay, it is not. It is not. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get into the BIOS? Thanks. <laughs> I was pushing the button. Nothing was happening. Okay, so now let's see if their OS is on the M.2 drive. It is! It is finally someone who has their operating system on their fast drive. Finally. Finally. All right. Let me get this case all put back together. Then we can get this out in the hallway, and we can get to work on the build. And there we go. It's actually a nice little clean build once it's all dust-free. All right, out in the hallway with you. Let's get started on this build. Let me get this case all taken apart. I think that's about it. <laughs> All right. All right. Motherboard. Motherboard is what we need. We've got the MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. I wish it was a white motherboard, but they don't have any for the new LGA1200 Intel processors. So maybe eventually somebody, somebody will give us a white motherboard. 
But this one has some white on it, so I'm okay with it. Get a couple of these out of the way. Oh, I think this needs to come out as well. Because I have some fans. We got some uh, EK Vardar fans that I wanted to install in here. I got four of them. We'll get some down here at the bottom. Whoa. And the last one. There we go. There we go. All right. Let me get this ready for a CPU and RAM. Oh, I already got it ready for RAM. I already got it ready. I'm closing them now. <laughs> I'm closing them up. Uh, let's see. I need a I need a processor. We're gonna put the i7 10700K in here. There we go. And then for memory, we got four sticks of Corsair Vengeance Pro, eight gig, thirty two hundred megahertz in white. So we'll get all those installed. There we go. All right, next, let's grab some more storage. Or not some more. Let's grab some storage. <laughs> let's grab some storage. We've got three of these white one terabyte SSDs going in here. And then we've got a one terabyte M.2 drive going here. So lots of fast storage. They can store all their games or whatever on those, and they can store their operating system on on the M.2, so they get a nice fast boot and put all their software and stuff on there. Photoshop, you know, you can get that started up real quick. Okay, okay, we need thermal paste. We'll get that put on there, and then we need a CPU cooler. And for that, we got the NZXT Kraken Z73. Let's get them out right here. Okay, then let's go around to this side of the case and we'll get our power supply in. We've got the Corsair RM850X. Get that installed right there. And then finally we need a graphics card. For the graphics card, we're going to do the MSI RTX 3080 Supreme. Supreme? I think that's how you say that. If not, feel free to correct me in the comments section. You can let me know. Let me know how wrong I am. <laughs> All right, we need to get this cabled up and then we need to get a 3D Mark score. I just want to cable this with white. We've got the white case. Just want to cable everything with white. Get it all cabled up here. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. These aren't, these are going all crazy. Look at that mess. <laughs> and our front panel connector, we'll get that wired up, cabled up, connected, whatever. All right. This case uh, likes to reset 3D mark scores if the front panel isn't put on, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this case completely back together before I even bother to start it up. Let me grab a USB drive, get that installed, and power this up. I'm gonna hop into the BIOS really quick. Turn XMP on. Yeah, I don't wanna boot from, that's what I wanna boot from right there, the Patriot Viper drive. And let's go ahead and let this restart. All right, all we need to do is get 3D Mark on here because we need to get a 3D Mark score of 7,320 or better, obviously. There we go. I'm going to get 3D Mark running, and as soon as I've got a score, I will come right back and show you. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
So they wanted 7,320. We got them 14,774. That is more than double. That is more than double what they were looking for. They better be happy. They better be happy with this PC. They really better. Oh my gosh, look at these colors. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay, maybe maybe I should have put the lighting app on as well. Let's uh Let's get that put on real quick. I'd really like to change these colors. I do not like <laughs> what whatever is happening in this case. Okay. Lighting app. Uh, I would like to make everything that color, please. Or maybe... Or maybe... Let's do this. Let's make them all that color. The color of the case. Oh, I think that's going to look good. Oh, it does. Alright, let's get rid of that UI. And take a better look. Oh, yeah. I think that turned out really nice. I hope they're as happy with it as I am. Let's get this out in the hallway. We can collect some money, and then we can check on our PC Bay auctions. So let's collect this one. Five stars. My motherboard is as good as new, and I'll come back again. Excellent. Excellent. That's what I like to hear, Pat. All right, now for the build. Five stars. I love the specs of the new PC. That is great. That is great. Look, we got more emails. I can't even keep up with all of them. We're getting quite the backlog. Let's see if there's anything I can't live without on PC Bay. Um... RTX 2080 Super Water Force. Oh, we might have to check that out. Might have to check that out. Oh, look, here's one already for tomorrow for our next for our next episode. I'm already previewing. I'm already previewing the next episode. <laughs> All right, let's hop on here. Let's see. Um Ooh, that case uh, for $37. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'll just, I'll just, I'll buy it all. I, 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 I bought it all. <laughs> I bought it all. Let's check on our, our, our auctions. The first one, we are up to $2,087. $1,491 and $2,991. We have one day remaining, so in the next episode, we should see what the final amount they go for is. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, if you want to help support me and my channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next episode.